So these are some tubes uh, that I've opened and uh, I'm ready to take the cocoons out of them. So we'll just show you how these uh, can get opened. Put these aside. There's the tube filled. It's about a nine inch tube. See a little plug in the end. And you squeeze hard right there, breaks that plug, and then allows the tube to open. Sometimes they fly around. I find the chainsaw sharpening file to be very good at a number of things. Removing cocoons. It's got a little sharp point on the end of it. And also for checking tubes that are empty to make sure they are empty. Put it in there full length, you know it's empty and it could be reused. So here's another one. So that one had one, two, three, five, six, nine in it. Squeeze it. And pull open. You can also use the end of the tube just to flip them out. You don't squeeze them or poke them when you're doing this. That's a tube with seven or eight in. Oh, could be one more down here. Let's check. Oh, no, nothing there. Another one. Some tubes are a little bit more difficult to open. You have to, it's nice to have a nice sharp thumbnail to pull that Phragmites tube apart. I find Phragmites are the best tubes because they're hard enough on the outside that parasites can't sink their ovipositors through them, parasitic wasps, and also they're of an ideal size. You do have to sort them out, about uh, in the stand that they grow down in my swamp, about one in 30 to 40 are actually big enough. Um, and you look for the ones with the tassels on them at the top, and they're good size. These have come from a number of types of materials that you can repurpose. Here's one uh, with three inch, three inch uh, drainage pipe. This was one that was very successful. I refilled with tubes just made out of pallet wood. Notice it's shorter, not as full depth. Nine inch depth. 